Here are three more hacks or tips that I've found highly useful in my life. They can be applied to learning Japanese, but will also help you out in other aspects of your life as well. They are being conscious of the time between tasks, uh, an acronym called WIN, and the spirit of essentialism. Stay tuned to figure out how these concepts can help you get more out of your life and also make you better at learning Japanese. <music> Remember to like and subscribe to get more related content and share this with a friend if you found it useful. Many people think of productivity as working fast, but most of the time you waste happens between tasks, not while you're working on them directly. Uh, this concept was introduced to me by an artist called Bobby Chu, who has an excellent YouTube channel if you're interested in art, by the way. In one of his videos, he talks about how he had to learn to be productive when he started working on his own, juggling many projects without having a boss to dictate how he should spend his time. Bobby was forced to come up with a way to become more productive in order to get on top of things. Now what he noticed was that he often would waste a lot of time not while he was in the middle of things, but in between tasks. But by learning to make the window of time between tasks smaller, he would waste less time and become able to do what he needed to keep his business afloat. While you might not be self-employed, this concept can be a huge help. When learning Japanese, you will often need to switch between tasks. You might go from practicing kanji to working on a new text. In between these tasks, you might feel the certain urge to check your phone, grab something to eat, or to maybe even take a little break. While none of these things are bad per se, it's a good idea to be mindful of how much time you actually spend on them. Now, I have two ways I like to use to avoid uh, drifting off. One is to just start the next task immediately and then take a short break mid-task. I find it a lot easier to get started quickly when I'm in the middle of things. The other is to just set a timer for five minutes to make sure I don't spend too much time away from what I'm doing. Uh, now, taking breaks is of course important, but keep this in mind that you will get a lot more done throughout the day. The second concept or the second hack is an acronym called WIN. Now W-I-N is short for what is important now. And this is a concept coined by Larry Gelwix, uh, who was the head coach of the Highland High School rugby team in Salt Lake City. He guided the team to 418 wins and 20 national championships under his belt over a 36 year long career. Larry would say, we always win. But he wasn't just referring to winning games. By saying win, he asked his players to consider what is important right now. If you stay focused on what's right in front of you, not what's going to happen in the future, you can free yourself from almost all of your problems and get to engage in activities that will actually benefit you in the future. If you think about it, most worries you have in life are either from things you've experienced in the past or things you fear will happen in the future. You're rarely suffering because of what you're experiencing right now. But by focusing on what is important right now, you can take back control of your own life. Tim Ferriss, uh, the entrepreneur and author, and also now podcast host, also mentioned something similar in his book, The 4-Hour Workweek. In the book, he talked about how he would set a timer to go off several times during the day. And whenever his timer would go off, he would ask himself if what he was doing right now was the most important thing he could do. Then he would adjust his behavior accordingly. When learning Japanese, this mindset can help you get a lot more work done and also help you prioritize the kind of studying that will actually get you the most results. Just watching an anime without actively trying to learn from it isn't studying. This doesn't mean that you should never watch anime just for fun, but it does mean that you should be clear on what you want. This might sound like overkill to some of you, but focusing on what's the most important doesn't necessarily mean forcing yourself to do something you don't want to. 
which brings us to the next concept or hack, which is essentialism. Essentialism means focusing on what's essential, meaning that it's a way of thinking that helps you get the most out of your life. Now, this concept comes from Greg McOwen. In his book by the same name, he talks about how he encountered the concept. When Greg's wife was expecting their first child, his boss said that it would be great if she didn't give birth on a certain date, as that date the company had an important meeting and Greg needed to be there. Greg wasn't sure if his boss was joking or not, but he wasn't about to let him down. Now it turns out that his child was actually born on that day, and after his wife had given birth, he left her and their newborn child to attend the meeting. The client was surprised when he showed up, given the importance of the day. Now in the end, nothing really came out of this meeting. Greg McCohen was distraught with what he had done, and he vowed to never let something that was inessential take away from something more important. So the point of essentialism isn't to cram more things into your day, but it's about doing what matters. It's about leaving space for what's truly important by eliminating things that don't really matter. If you apply this to learning Japanese, then this can help you guide your studies in a meaningful way. Instead of pretending to study while half watching a Japanese movie while scrolling through social media, essentialism is about making the most out of the time you study so that you can spend the rest of the time doing something else. It's about being focused on what you're doing right now instead of thinking about other things. It's about getting the most out of where you are currently in your life and allowing you to move towards a better future. If you're lucky enough to go to Japan to study, for example, spend most of your time doing what you can only do in Japan as a student. Make friends with Japanese people and spend as much time with them as you can. Make memories that you will carry with you for the rest of your life. This is what essentialism is all about. Instead of getting caught in bad habits, that just waste your time and your life, consciously take control of it and steer it in the direction you want to go. To learn three more hacks that can benefit you, watch this video next. And comment down below if you have some tips you'd like to share of your own.